Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in part 6 of Mastering Parallel Programming series in C Sharp, we are going to talk about something super important for anyone working with multi-threaded applications in .NET, thread safe concurrent collections. Don't worry if that sounds complicated, I'll break it down and show you why it's so useful with some easy to understand examples. So before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe my channel, hit the red button and don't forget to click on the little bell icon that way you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. Okay, without any further delay, let's get started. Parallel programming using PFX, that is parallel framework extension libraries in C Sharp. If you have been following along with my previous videos in this series, you might recognize this diagram. In those videos, we covered two pillars of a structured data parallelism, P-Link queue, that is the parallel link queue and parallel class. I also covered task parallelism. Today, our focus shifts to the concurrent collections. .NET thread safe concurrent collections. Concurrent collections in C Sharp are thread safe collection classes provided in the system.collection.concurrent namespace. They are designed to handle concurrent access by multiple threads, ensuring data integrity and reducing the need for explicit synchronization. Okay, so let's understand why it's important. Imagine you are working in a busy kitchen. Multiple safes or threads are trying to use the same set of ingredients or data if they all grab things at the same time without coordination, there will be chaos, right? Someone might take an aggregate just as someone else needs it, leading to mistakes and wasted time. Keep things running smoothly, we need a system to manage access to the ingredients so that every chef can work efficiently without stepping on each other's toes. That's where the system.collection.concurrent namespace comes in. It provides a special collection that multiple threads can access safely at the same time. So, the system.collection concurrent namespace has classes, interface, and enums that help handle concurrent access by multiple threads, ensuring data integrity and reducing the need for explicit synchronization. If you see the diagram shown over here, we have classes like blocking collection t, concurrent back t, concurrent dictionary t key, t value, concurrent qt, and concurrent stack t, along with orderable partitioner t source and partitioner t source, right? If you see this interface, we have I producer consumer collection T. Enums, we have innumerable partitioner option. Okay, so let's understand these one by one. Let's talk about the first blocking collection. So think of blocking collection like a well organized pantry where ingredients are added and taken out in an orderly fashion. If the pantry gets full, safes wait until there is a space. If it's empty, they wait until new ingredients arrive. This ensures everything is managed smoothly without any chaos. Next, there is a concurrent back tea. Imagine a big basket where chefs can toss in and grab ingredients without worrying about the order. It's perfect for situation where you just need to collect and use items without a specific sequence. Now come to the concurrent dictionary. So concurrent dictionary is like a recipe book that multiple chefs can write in and read from simultaneously. So each recipe, that is the key value pair, is safely stored. So chefs can find what they need without interfering with each other. Now come to the concurrent queue and concurrent stack. So concurrent queue, let's picture a line at the kitchen counter in the terms of P4. That is the first in first out, right? Chefs take the first ingredient from the line and add new items to the end. When we are going to talk about the concurrent stack, think like stack of plates like LIFO, last in first out. The last plate added is the first one taken. Both ensue that chefs can work with items in a specific order without any conflict. Next we have orderable partitioner t source and partitioner t source. So these are like assigning different tasks to chefs so that everyone has a fair share of the workload. It helps in splitting up large tasks into a smaller part that can be handled in parallel, so speeding up the overall process. Next, we have interfaces I producer consumer collection. What it does, think of it as a set of rules that help different parts of the program, like different cooks in the kitchen, add the take items from their shared collection safely without bumping into each other. So it's like having an organized system where one cook can add ingredients to a shared pantry while another can take ingredients out without any confusion or mistakes. Additionally, we have enumerable partitioner option as an enum. It's like settings that control how items are divided up and managed in a shared workspace. Imagine having different ways to split tasks among cooks so that 
एवरी वन हैज द राइट अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क लाइक हु हैंडल्स डो मेकिंग हु बेक्स एंड हु डेकोरेट्स एवरी वन वर्क एफिशियंटली एंड नथिंग गोज रॉन्ग Now, if I ask you question, why you use this collection? So you should be able to answer this specific question, right? Okay. So let me answer this here. So without these special collection, managing access to shared data in a multi-threaded environment can be tricky and error-prone. It's like having a free-for-all in the kitchen, which leads to mistakes, wasted time, and potentially even crashes in your application. So system dot collection dot concurrent name space is classes, interfaces, and enums makes it much easier to write safe, efficient code. that can handle multiple threads working together seamlessly okay so that brings me to end up my session today to sum up the system dot collection dot concurrent name spaces is all about keeping things organized and safe when multiple parts of your application need to access the same data at the same time it helps prevent problems and ensures everything runs smoothly in upcoming videos i'll delve into these concept in much more detail so stay tuned That's all for this video, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done already. Thanks for watching. See you next video.